yo, what's good YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today I'll be doing a room tour for the month of May. And then let's get into the video. Right here is my 40 gallon freshwater fish tank. I got Lucky right there, my pick is catfish, stripes. And then right back there is a little baby convict. You know, I see a lot of those in here. There's actually two of them in the lilies right there. And then a long skirt tetra. I've got my rainbow shark and the croc skull. I've got two common plecos. And then that's the, one of the convicts I like right there. He's really colorful. And then I've got Spot My Tire Track Ill in here, which is actually hand trained to eat red wriggler worms. And right there is dashing away is my South American Bumblebee Catfish. Those guys are so elusive. Um, see if I can grab a red wriggler. I see spot right now in the back. Let's see if I can get a video. There's a red wriggler. Let's push this plant back in. Or not. And then, funny story, I got collected some moss, and then I have no idea what kind of flower that is. But that just sprouted out of some moss I put in here. And then I just built a canopy for it. And then right up here, this is Satan, my plains garter snake. She's destroying her cage again and killing her plants again she's going into her hide because she's getting camera shy because she thinks that she's not getting fed but she just got fed last night so and then right here I have a new addition let me open the cage up right here is another snake I just recently got and his name is DJ if you're a long-term subscriber you'll know that I had a male garter snake which name was demon take its hide out for a sec right here don't want to mess with him too much he just ate Right there is my new garter snake. Put his stuff back together. If you wonder why the dirt looks so dark, I just watered all his plants. I have gotten him to eat an unfortunate happening. I ha You'll see in later on, I'll tell you about it later on stuff back on make sure everything's nice and tight moving along right over here I just redid this right here is my iguana Jed's cage there he is and then I just redid it and in here I also got legs my American bullfrog and big bull which Right there happens to be Big Bull. And Leg, I don't know if I'll be able to show because he thinks he needs to hide all the time. Check if he's under here. He's not under there, so he's probably in that log right there. But I just redid his waterfall, everything. 
close this up. Just latch it up so he don't get out. And then over here, I've got my five turtles. They will be getting a bigger tank as soon as I can get one. Get it put together. I have a 200 gallon pool pond, but I want to build a nice terrarium type setting for them. There's Snapper. You'll see her come over. She's a hog. Right there is Bruce. He thinks he's getting fed. He likes to bite me. So let's go underwater. Right there is Scaredy. And then right there looks like a rock but it's not a rock that's Wilma and then right there that is Crush they all think they're getting fed which I will feed them and then you get them some more turtle food And then, right over here, that right there is my leopard gecko, George. He's the oldest reptile in my room. And then, right up here, that is our le my mom's leopard gecko. Right, that's my leopard gecko, Einstein. And this one is my mom's leopard gecko, Pumpkin. They look so similar. Take you all the way down here. This I just recently set up because they were being aggressive. So, right here is a five gallon nano salt water. There's this cleaner shrimp right here. It's got a bunch of hermit crabs in there. So, now I'm start calling it my hermit crab tank. And I got one salt, huh? Peppermint shrimp in there give you another look at George and then right over here I got my community tank of lizards right here you'll see a bunch of spots on the glass because I sprayed it recently and they like to poop on the glass so I try to rinse it off that right there is a female green and all I need some help naming her if I leave a comment below and if I like your name and pick your name I'll give you a shout out and then right there is my Bahama name his name is Gucci and then it's probably in his log right here probably won't be able to see him let me move this light shine it in there maybe we might be able to see something oh he's right there Right there is my golden skink. His name is Zeus. It's their cage. I just redid that recently too. I recently just redid all my reptile enclosures. And then right down here is my bearded dragon Sal. Currently I am looking for a bigger cage for him as well. So that will be in my next video probably. But right now he's in a 29 gallon. I'm looking, for, as I said, I'm looking for bigger because he's quite frankly outgrown this cage. But right under him, I don't want to drop my phone in, but right here is a little tub pond. It's got my goldfish in it because they were getting a little cramped for a 10 gallon. But there's all kinds of fish in there. There's my goldfish. Mostly all Asian fish, because goldfish actually originate from Asia, so. There's two giant danios and four tiger barbs in there. And then, have to open this up so you don't see the humidified glass. But right over here is my Cuban night anole. Her name is Jade. Let's see if I can find her. Oh, there she is right there. She's right here. Oh, I don't get bit. Oh, 
There she is. She's very bright green. If the camera work was jumpy because she hurts when she bites. I the in her cage it has I used flex seal in there because it was starting to warp at the bottom and a bunch of bad stuff was happening. So if you're gonna use old cabinets, you wanna seal them good. That is what I'm looking for for my bearded dragon. This is a four foot tall terrarium and it's about 22 inches wide and 20 inches deep, I believe is what I, the measurements. And then I installed just a UV strip and the heat lights up there. And then there's all live plants, even the moss. I know that she is a female because she has laid three eggs. So I am currently looking for a male for her. So right here, I recently acquired some more frogs which I love these frogs, they, I've had them in the past, Ooh, look, there's two of them right there, these are Pacific Chorus Frogs, I have three of them, there is two males and one female, I had three males, their names were Larry, Curly, and Mo, but one of them died, which was Larry, and then there is, I have no name for the female right now, so, if I can get some help naming that one as well, I'll give a shout out for that one as well. But something cool happened recently about my big female garter snake. She recently shed. And that thing about garter snakes, or snakes in general, when they shed, their shed is usually way longer than the snake actually was. It's funny. But right under the frogs, I know I'm going to probably get some hate for this, but I'm going to be getting a bigger tank when it grows a little bit. But right here is my saltwater tank. And in what's housed in it is one blue spotted grouper and a little hermit crab. His name is Shamu, like Zach Ketchum's largemouth bass. But the story about this guy, he was sitting in the pet store that I got him from for over a month. So, see if he'll come out. There's his face. He's cool. He's one of my favorites. I'll just go back over to the fresh water. There is a ton of convict cichlids in there. I got all those little convicts for free, so why not? So if you like this, make sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and don't be shy to share the video on social media and remember always stay happy my friends